let's talk about, like I mentioned, the impact of the results. Uh, we've seen now we've seen we've seen GTB, we've seen Access, we've seen um, Zenith. I think those are the top three banks. Yeah. Now it's only UBA that we haven't seen, and of course we already know that that's going to be a bit weak because of the profit warning. How is the market digesting this, these numbers in your view? Well, they are the top three bank. <coughs> Excuse me, they are the top three bank, but we still have one more that we're still expecting. That is First Bank. Of course. Um, when you look at um, the, the bank result it coming in, it's just been an improvement of Zenit was at a gain of 18 point something by profit after tax. GTB came in with profit after tax increase about 37 percent. Then um, assets came with about 52 percent. You could see the, uh, the, the gradually increasing, and that is helping the market boost its confidence level in the market. I know GTB declared a, a final dividend of 95 couple, couple with the, the, the former dividend they've paid, so everything runs to 10, 1 naira, 10 couple. Then Assets Bank also had gave a final dividend of 30 cover that makes it 50 cover. And then Zenith Bank as well, where it gave 85 cover. So all these have been positive in the in the market at the moment. We moved the share price a little bit. But I'd, like I said the last time, I don't think there will be any 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 drastic move in the share price. Mm -hmm. that some of the stocks has already done their rally based on them investors per section on their results and already. Because the expectations so of the expectation of the results. And you know, like just mentioned, it's just a little move, very moderate movement, very small reactions to this result, apart from maybe Access Bank where we saw the stock price move up close to five percent. But I get the sense that it's really the Q1 numbers that are really going to define the banks for this year because it seems everything else has been priced in. Definitely, definitely. The Q1 numbers are really going to define the banks of this year. Mostly banks like Assets Bank, will, people will begin to look at how well the synergy between them and, uh, and, uh, and uh, Intercontinental Bank is going to come play there. Mm -hmm. Then GTB going forward. But when, when you look at the GTB stuff, you begin to look at the, 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 prof, the profit they made for the selling of their subsidiary must have been one of the things that helped boost their, their, their earnings and also boost their, their profit. So when you look at all this figure and you realize that um, um, both Assets Bank is going to be a hub and holding company, Zenith Bank is going to have a holding company. So when you're looking going for you begin to say there might be a likelihood that banks like Zenith and Assets may in the first and second quarter have better results than uh, GTB. Mm. Well, of course, we'll be hopefully speaking to the CEO of GTB later today. But let's move on to the inflation number, which came out at 11.9%. Obviously surprising the market. I think many people expected, even if it was going to moderate, it will still be somewhere above 12 percent. Your thoughts on the impact that this is going to have on the market? Um, that's one good result. I, I mean, like you told me immediately I came in. Uh, we're thinking that the inflation figure is still going to be high, but maybe by 12.4 percent or thereabout, and thinking of a year end of about 14 percent. With this result, that shows the fact that it was the, the increment that we had in, a, in, in January, which was um, over a hundred percent, and after they adjusted the price, I mean, the the, the consumer products are beginning to come down to every day. The, the, the market, we mainly traders are beginning to reduce the price of their holding. Maybe that's what it's about, and that's a good news to the market because that means we expect the uh, MPC to remain where they where they left it the last time they met, and so. With, it, with that, if the equity market any season continue and the Q1 result keep coming, I think that's going to be a good news for the. So for very the, positive for the equity market in yeah. your view. But let's move back to the market now. We know FCMB is likely to release their numbers. The second bank to announce a profit warning after UBA. There's a sense that you know that hopefully this will be the last of the surprises in this season. But what is, what's your sense? Do you think this is going to be the last? Do you think that we may see, for instance, another surprise from the first bank? Oh, well, I know that they also did some sales to Amcon. Well, I, I don't expect any surprise of First Bank if the, the first Q, Q1, Q2, and Q3 result that we saw is anything to go back. I don't expect any surprise. I, the surprise I expect from First Bank should be a surprise of positive. It will be very, very um, uh, bad for the market to see anything negative from First Bank. When you know that between First Bank, GTB, and Zenit Bank, their Q1 results, I mean, their Q1, Q2, and Q3 results was almost at par. So we expect them to do better. Then again, when you, when, when you say whether there will be any surprise warning, I, I wouldn't want to stick out my neck that there won't be any surprise because you should, you, sh you should know that the second tier, the one they call the second tier bank, like Diamond Bank, like Fidelity Banks, all those banks have not come in with their results also. So we are waiting for that. If FCB has given us the warning, then you begin to expect that there might be a little bit from all the second tier banks. It might not be true. But I think there might be a little bit when you know that SCS being is classed in those categories. Mm -hmm. So that's why you think uh, a, Zenit, uh, a Zenit Bank, a GTB uh, are classed in this category of false banks. So you don't expect anything 
to negative from that side. Do you, do you think that FCMB could be another buying opportunity? We saw in the case of UBA where the price was depressed after the profit warning and then it obviously rallied significantly since then. Well, you, 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 when you look at UBA, they, they, they came to the, to the floor to tell us their strategy, how they are going to turn around the bank, even give us projection ending of their first quarter. That would make, that what was helped their share price. But at the moment, we are not seeing any, 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 any strategy from FCMB. We've not seen any way they are trying to boost. We've not seen their retail outlet of FCMB is not very, 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 very strong. And so they need to do a lot of um, a lot of work in the side of the management. Uh, definitely, the price of FCMB will go down. Even it's the beginning of last week, that started losing very. Uh, so one you of think the top communication is key for management to yeah. get, give the market a sense of where they're going going forward. Yes, but, and, and I, of course, FCMB is one of those banks that bought one of the rescued banks. So there's always that risk, execution risk of a merger. You see. That's one thing that is, is not going to help them now for declaring a profit warning because when they go into this bank, to remember they are going to still have the same legacy uh, type of thing they are writing off there. They may still find it in, 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 in First Inland Bank, uh, but the only good thing is that maybe they will, they, they, they will, they, they, they will, they will key into the, the asset of um, First Inland Banks and maybe their, their network outlet and their retail banking outlet. Maybe that's why the, the main reason why, why they did that. But going forward, it, it's not looking very yeah, great for us. Well, but clearly, I think one positive for FCMB is the fact that they, they paid peanuts for FinBank.